Item Number SCP-5169 Security Level 1 Containment Class Safe Disruption Class Dark Risk Class Danger Special Containment Procedures 51 SCP-5169 instances are stored within a safe class containment locker in Site 7. The remainder are in the possession of Marshall Carter and Dark Limited or potentially their clientele. Proposals regarding the use of SCP-5169 instances as assassination devices are pending. Description SCP-5169 is a series of sex dolls developed for commercial sale by Charles Maximoon, an an artist and entrepreneur formerly employed by Marshall Carter and Dark Limited. Both male and female configured SCP-5169 instances are available and may possess various accessories. Each SCP-5169 instance is physically indistinguishable from a comparable non-anomalous product. However, when used to climax by one or more human beings, note, testing with non-humans has yet to be carried out. SCP-5169 instances will spontaneously explode. Forensic examination of SCP-5169 detonations reveals no apparent chemical or other physical cause, suggesting that SCP-5169 instances function by entropically generating explosive force. Addendum 5169-1 Discovery the SCP-5169 instances presently contained were recovered as part of a sting operation conducted by MTF Mu-3 Higher Spitters in order to confiscate any anomalous products possessed by Mr. Maximum. Initially, Mr. Maximum and any locations of persons he was known to be associated with were to be kept under surveillance until Director McBride, note, the intelligence chief in charge of Mu-3, gave the green light for his agents to take action. However, on March 9th, 2020, two weeks into surveillance, an explosion at Maximum's North Andover, Massachusetts residence called for immediate intervention. In the guise of FBI agents, Mu-3 personnel needed the house and confiscated all confirmed or suspected anomalies. One human corpse was recovered and identified as Maximum's romantic associate Lawrence Cluster. Additionally, Marshal Carter and Dark Security staff took Mr. Maximum into custody regarding an incident in the Quality Assurance Department. He was then fired and remanded to the Foundation for Interrogation and Amnestization. Interviewer Director Jacob McBride Interviewed Charles Maximum What exactly is the nature of your work at MCND? Well, I worked in N art acquisitions for a while, but that had nothing to do with why I got fired. Why do you get fired? It was the dogs. We had uh, just received our shipment at London HQ. Testing was just starting up. The first tester, well, screwed one of them, and boom, chain reaction. I take it the damage was serious. You could say that. There's no more QA department at London headquarters. So why did the doors explode? Well, I can tell you that wasn't my fault. Doc gave me this project a few weeks ago, told me it would be convenient if we could move into the synthetic sex trade just like the real one, and that she wanted me to see what sorts of anomalous features we could give to regular inflatable dolls. The thing is, I had a lot on my plate, and I was asked to take over. So I gave the work to someone else. Who? Some drug dealer operating out of the States. He was recommended to me by a colleague. And he made the doors to explode when people finished with him. Why? Well, maybe it was a little my fault. I told him I wanted blow-up doors. And he's, well, not the most literate person. He thought you wanted lethal sex toys. Yeah, like I said, not the most literate. I think I know exactly who you're talking about. 